Okay, we're back, and now I'm going to color Ping Pong Pig by Caroline Jane Church. Yeah. All right, we're going to, first I'm going to um, put a light, oops, I want the big end, a light Prismacolor. You don't have to be too careful. You can see the paper has a bit of texture because it's, which kind of makes it look artful too. You need good, good, decent paper. Typing paper is only for pencil drawings, that kind of stuff. It's just too slick, too thin, and buckles when you put water on it. Okay, now I think I'm gonna try a little bit of pink. Just and I'm just barely touching the paper. I'm not pressing hard here because I want to layer it a bit because I'm going to go over it. Oops, I forgot his toes. Oh, I need some brown. Well, let's see, where's some brown? Mm. Didn't really want to do this dark brown, but anyway, so much for that. Ooh, that's too dark. I don't think I like that. Have to be careful. Yeah, wait a minute. Do a finer one. This is really dark mud, but that's okay. Pigs only get in mud because it's cool. They're actually pretty clean animals. We always had pigs when I was growing up. Okay, now I am going to take some Prismacolor pencils and work it over a bit. Enhance it. Smooth it over. Smooth it over. Give him a pinker nose, like that. Leave a little bit of white, because it kind of makes them sparkle. Leave a little bit of white there. Put a little darker back here. Let's make his tail pinker, okay? And his little feet, make it a little darker. And let's make him a little darker under here to Give him a little bit of three-dimensional. Okay. Okay, just go over that. Now, I'm going to take a light pencil and kind of make it blend. You see how that blends and it kind of fuses it? Because this is mostly wax and very little pigment. So it just blends the color underneath. See, I'm just being very easy with this and not careful at all. It's just a miracle pencil if you know how to use it. And you just keep blending till you, you can blend and blend and make it smooth as glass and just perfect. You can do portraits with this pencil. You can do anything you want. There, there. Smooth as tail. There. See, the more you blend it, the more wax goes on and the more creamy and translucent, almost like oil paints. But I want his cheeks to be pinker. So, or let's see. I want him to have, uh, he seems to have some pink, pink cheeks in the original. So I'm going to, see, I'm gonna make him pink. I think that's where his cheek is. It's hard to know here, but there we go. Now he's got rosy cheeks and I'm gonna put a tiny bit on his nose and maybe a little on this ear, a little back here, and a little on his tail, a little on his toes. Oh, he's looking pretty fine. Yeah. Oh, nice job. Okay, and I'm going to put a little... Oh, darn, I pressed too hard. Can't press too hard. And I'm going to put a little yellow here to make it a little more sparkly. Then I want to pat a little, warm him up a little, because he's looking a little cold. If you put there. 
give him some some heat here. Okay, I think that's pretty good. All done.